Good evening everyone, this is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com and in tonight's free video I wanted to look at a couple of the ideas that are behind pinning. Now pinning is a concept that's been around for a while. I feel like it used to work a lot better. Uh, stocks like Netflix and Apple have split, it hasn't become quite as common and just in the market in general I think it's been a little bit more tricky. But if you'll think about these couple of things that we're going to cover here as you get into these types of situations, I think it will help. Now the first that I'm looking at here is Amazon, and a couple of things about this particular ticker that in my mind make it a difficult underlying to try and pin this week is because you've had such radical movement over the course of the past several sessions. Now post earnings, I guess you might be able to argue that it's traded somewhat sideways around 700, but the general concept with a pin is that you're finding something that has been trading sideways for some time or working in a range, so you have a little bit better feel for which strike you would like to sell. Amazon has been very volatile here as of late, and then when you come over and look at the open interest, there's not really one particular strike that stands out. So with all of these things in mind, I think Amazon is the more difficult of the two to pin that I'm going to cover tonight, but it still had potential. <clears throat> you think, okay, 700, of course, is the strike that we're looking to, and into the end of the day, it had a pretty decent rally. When I'm in this spot, I think the easiest and most straightforward way to play it is with a bullish butterfly around 700. We got into that just a few minutes before the closing bell, got a decent entry, and now the main idea, one, we're risking a dollar to try and make four, and if we can get anywhere up near 700 tomorrow, that's exactly what we'd like to see. You try to get as close to the strike as you can without going over, and it looked like a promising overnight trade. So that's how I just try to give myself as little risk as humanly possible while as much potential reward as I can, since I didn't think it looked that great for a pin. Now, another place we can look at it is Netflix. Netflix, I feel, has a little bit higher probability because of the way it has been trading in this, you know, at this point for a long time. Now, of course, earnings drove us back down into it, but 90 is not an uncommon area for Netflix. You know, it's traded here for quite some time as opposed to making new highs like Amazon has. Okay, so that's one side of it. How do you try to get position for this? I have been using this 90 level of resistance all week and trying to trade with those prevailing moving averages and looking for it to essentially move lower. You could have done an iron fly at this strike, you could have done a couple of different strategies, but the way that I did it was this unbalanced fly. So we take in a credit on the initial entry for the trade, doing these too wide, the max profit will be $2. So if you can take them in at a 25 cent credit, sell them at a dollar, dollar and a quarter, Makes for some pretty decent trading and you know closing at 89.55 is about as good as we could ask for in that one. So a couple of things to think about with that. I think that Netflix may have a better chance of holding above 90 tomorrow because you do have some nice open interest in those put options. So keep an eye peeled for that. Look for it to stay below the snow line and hopefully that gives you some ideas to incorporate into your expiration trading. I also wanted to make sure you guys were aware of the mentorship that we're going to be having. This is going to be June 26th through the 28th. This is going to be in Austin. I always love these events. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased, but I enjoy Austin. I enjoy the crew that we have that comes down there, and I think it's one of the best things you could do for your trading career. So, hope to see you guys there. Have a great rest of your night, and I'll talk to you at the next free video.